Blessings on you, you guys today. It is another beautiful day, another beautiful Monday to lift God and praise God and adore Him for who He is. I pray that you guys have a great week. Uh, looking at Luke chapter 15, it, it's a beautiful story. Uh, there are so many beautiful uh, parables in that, in that Luke 15, but I uh, really want to hinge on the prodigal son today. And and just spend a couple moments about the Father's love. Our, uh, our Father, our God, our Savior, Jesus, he, he loves us to the end, to the utmost. He, he loves us to death, that He would die on the cross for us. But when we, you look at Luke chapter 15, the prodigal son, uh, there's a man who had two sons. Uh, the Bible makes it very clear. And the younger son wanted his inheritance early. You guys already know the story. He wanted his inheritance early. Uh, he, he got it. He went out into a far country. Uh, he spent his, uh, all of his substance on riotous living. He lived any kind of way. Uh, he was living, doing the things that he wanted to do. He went away from home. Not only did he go away from home, he went out and lived a riotous a life, a life of the flesh a life doing the things that pleased him, doing the things that glorified him, doing the things that honored him. And as he was out there, he ended up wasting all that he had. Whenever you're pleasing yourself and doing for self, you eventually will come to the end of yourself. He spent all that he had, and now... He's searching for a job. Uh, he's searching for a job. He's a Jew, and he finds himself working with the pigs, working with the swine. And as he's there, he, the Bible says this famous statement, he came to himself. Can you imagine the prodigal son there saying, I had it so good at my father's house. There was love at my father's house. There was joy at my father's house. Whenever I was hungry, I could eat at my father's house. Now I am empty. And in my empty state, I come to myself. You know, we have to have those hog pen confessions. We have to have those rock bottom moments. We have to have those moments where we hit rock bottom so hard that we come to ourselves. And when we come to ourselves, now that we have hit rock bottom, guess what? There's only one way to go, and that's up. And so this prodigal son, he's hit rock bottom. And now his eyes are fastened towards home. His eyes are fastened towards the father. His eyes are fastened towards the things, the goodness that he had at home. And he makes his way. He makes his way back home. But you know what? Not only does he make his way back home, the father has been waiting on his son. Oh, the great love of a father. He looks and from a distance, the father sees his son and he embraces him. He has his arms wide open. He says, go get the fatted calf. He said, put a ring on his finger, those, those fingers that are so dirty, those fingers that are so nasty and sin, put a ring on his finger uh, and bring my son in, for my son was lost, but now he is found. The great love of a father, he embraces him. He shows him compassion. He shows him mercy. He shows him love. You know what? You and I, we need that great love. We need the love of our Father to embrace us. Oh, yes, we all sin and we all mess up against God. Oh, yes, we all do wrong. The Bible says we were born in sin, shaped in iniquity. But when we have our rock 
bottom moments. When we have those moments, when we hit rock bottom and we look up to our heavenly father, he embraces us. He shows us compassion. He shows us love. He shows us mercy. And you are listening to this video today and you're at a low place. But God loves you. God loves you. He loves you so much that he wants to embrace you. But you got to come back to him. God has compassion. God has mercy. Lamentation says his mercies are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. God loves you and has so much mercy for you that he gave you new mercy today, this morning. And on Tuesday, he'll give you new mercy. On Wednesday, he'll give you new mercy. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Monday. And guess what? All over again, God has mercy for you. So you need mercy in the midst of your misery. No matter how low you are, no matter how far you are, God will bring you back in. And that's the great love of our Heavenly Father. I pray, come on back. Come on back in. Come to Christ, your Lord, our Lord, your Savior. And he will have compassion and love for you. Our Father, we thank you that you are God of grace, you're God of mercy, you're God of love. We pray now, Lord, that you would speak so, that we will come back to you. If we're way off, that we'll come back. If we're so low, that we'll come back to the compassionate love of our great Father. And Father, thank you so much that you're always waiting for us. You can see us afar off. Thank you so much that you are so good. Now we pray that you will bless us this week, that we would walk close with thee for your glory and your honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Guys, we love you. We thank God for you. And we pray that you will continue to follow after God's will. God bless you.